welcome to the channel. Tessie here and listen, you know on this channel we do so many things, viral topics, my lifestyle and we also do trending topics and you know relationships and dating for black women and women in general and how to combat outcomes. So today we are going to be doing another one as part of my undesirability myth series, which you know, you you know that you love it. And we are back with even more crazy stuff, this video. <laughs> so don't forget to smash the subscribe button, smash the like button, because I am going to continue to show you just how deep this undesirability myth has affected black women and young black girls and how it continues to affect them and it is driving them absolutely crazy and how we need to take a step back, protect our young black women, young black girls and move into a new state of confidence, self-esteem, self-love, happiness and develop our personalities, our identities, so that we can move past this negative social conditioning of black women. So we have another Reddit post here. We're going to take a look at this Reddit post. And listen, you will never guess what. <laughs> listen, it's not even funny because the, the, the mental illness in this post is crazy. But this is actually the same person, the same black girl who made the previous post in my other video, if you haven't caught that, if you haven't watched that, what are you doing? Go ahead and watch that immediately, instantly. But I will link it up in the video. But yeah, this is actually the same post. This is the same person who has created various different accounts to talk about how she hates being a black woman, a young black girl. She's very young, she's 18. How she hates being black, she hates her skin, she feels ugly, this and that. And I'm telling you, this, this content that is being pushed out against black women, do you see? Do you see the damage it's causing? Let's take a look at this Reddit post because it is all seven levels of hell. And we are going to go deep into it. And then I'm going to show you literally this person's actual account because they have various accounts posting the same negative connotations about their skin colour and how they hate being a black girl. This is very serious. This is developing serious mental illnesses in young black girls and it needs to be addressed. Let's, let's dive into the Reddit post. And I feel so sorry for this girl, but at this point, I can see the mental illness has already unfortunately set in. This girl is 10 years younger than me and she is completely spiraling online, right? So let's read this post. I found this Reddit post and I was very disturbed when I realized it was the same person that had made the post in my previous video. So let's read the post. It says here, being a black girl is a curse. Hmm. Going on Reddit and looking through everyone's preferences is what really demolished my self-esteem. Please, someone who is non-black, answer this question. Again, she is seeking validation from white people or from non-black people. Very interesting. So she says, why is it that we are the least desired? No matter what I do, I will never be on the same level as a girl who is non-black. Oh, the level of mental illness in this post is, is really getting to me. And then she goes, I've tried searching for comfort before through other people's comments. Yeah, but you can't find comfort through other people's comments when you don't have self-esteem. That's not how it works. And she goes, but I mostly receive false encouraging messages that prevent me from doing something to myself. Ooh. And the feeling of satisfaction is only temporary. It's so hard to accept that I don't have the same opportunities as someone else. I feel like I'm not supposed to be in this body. Wow. Even guys that are my race bully me for being black and they're darker than me. I hate waking up every day looking at my skin color, knowing the chances of men wanting me compared to if I were a different race are so low. I want to be white, Jesus, or Asian, or at least a race where I'm desired and not stereotyped in a negative way. People perceive me poorly because they fail to get to know me. Probably around really shitty people. Every time I talk to people at school, they make a joke about my race and I'm the one they're laughing at. I just want to be treated like a normal human being, but no matter how sweet I am, my skin color is always a barrier. Oh, I really wish I could give this girl a hug. This is so sad. So she continues downward. She says, this feels like a curse. 
constantly picked on and bullied when I don't have anything to do, when I don't have to do anything wrong to cause that. I'm starting to hate my parents for birthing me and hating my non-black friends for not understanding how bad it really is. Hating living in this society where race and beauty is a hierarchy thing. My own race doesn't even understand Sorry, my own race doesn't even want to date me. I hate being called manly and compared to a transgender person. I'm a biological girl, but I don't feel like one. I want to have SES, but I don't even feel worthy enough for guys because they will always choose an Asian or white girl over me if they had the choice. I'm Asian. I don't know. What did she say here? I'm scared of... Wait, hold on. I've lost where I am. Right. I'm scared of being cheated on because I'm not attractive enough and he ends up getting bored of me I always have the inferior mindset oh well you see you you've just said it there you have an inferiority complex at least there is a a element of self-awareness here she says I have this inferior mindset every time someone who isn't black approaches me I don't even feel accepted into black spaces it is not even that I hate myself yes you do I try to love myself but every day at school, there's always someone compare, comparing races or features. And I can't even see myself in a positive light or in something anymore. I can't, can't see what that is at the bottom of the screen. But do you see how serious this is? Do you see how problematic this is? This is a very serious fucking problem. And I've said this time and time again. Black women, if you consume content, anti-black woman content, if you swallow all these pills that will make you sick, if you overdose on these red pills and black pills and trash pills that will make you sick, you will end up sick in the brain. Just look at this girl. Look at how much she's suffering. I feel so sorry for her. And listen, right? One thing about me is I don't really, I don't really care how people look, to be honest. I don't really care how women look. But I've actually gone on and checked on checked this girl's um, profile and her other, the other things that she's posted. And in my opinion... She's a very pretty girl. Now, genuinely, I don't care how women look. I don't spend my time worrying about how the women look. It doesn't benefit me in any way because I have serious confidence. So I only focus on things that benefit and directly benefit my life. How another person looks has absolutely nothing to do with me and it doesn't get me to where I want, right? But this girl and many other black girls like her are surrounded by absolute trash, right? From what they watch online to the people that they're around. And unfortunately, she's still in school. But you can see just how deep this negative social conditioning and this horrific undesirability myth is affecting young black girls. Here we have, again, black girls seeking validation. Black women seeking validation through racist people. Interracial dating doesn't mean you go and look for validation from people who don't like you. That's crazy, right? That doesn't make any sense. You you look at people on how they treat you, not how they look or their skin color, right? Now, obviously, this this poor girl is really surrounded by people by really sh- you know shitty young kids. Kids can be quite shitty when they're young, to be honest. Um, but the reality is, right, especially in the teenage phase. The reality is, right, this is, a lot of this is um, caused by the content that this girl's watching and a lot of young black women are watching this. And didn't I tell you that there's a social conditioning being put in to like try and destroy black women, their image, how they see themselves. And listen, this isn't only limited to black women, right? She compares herself to Asian and white women, but they also get, they also get conditioned as well. They're not exempt from this. No woman is. No woman on the planet is exempt from this. I really want you to know. They're using black women as the face of the social negative conditioning, but other women aren't exempt from this, right? And that's what this girl isn't understanding here because she's just a child. And it's really sad that this girl is literally just... You'll see, I'm going to show you all her post history. This is another account. She has another account that I've made a video on already. And this this is not the only... There are many black girls, black women like this, even... Mature black women in their 30s, 40s, 50s who feel this way, right? This is not only limited to young girls like this. this, There's also black women who are mature, older women who feel this way, who dislike themselves because they feel undesirable because of what they've watched, 
right? Because of the things that they've put in their head, the anti-black woman content, the passport bro trash, the red pill trash, the black pill trash, the whatever pill is out there trash that they've put into their heads. And this is the outcome. This, this, right? And I really, I'm going to show you what her, <laughs> what, what her post history looks like because it is literally, it's, 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 it's a little bit mad. Now, let's just take a look at all of the stuff she's posted on here in her previous post history. Look at this one here. I despise my body. Then she's posted in an up subreddit. I despise my body. This is what happens with these mentally unwell black girls. They end up posting the same thing in several different subreddits. Then she's posted it again. I despise my body as if we didn't know enough. And then she's posted it again. I feel like the ug ugliest person on the planet. Oh, I really feel so sorry for her. This girl needs a serious big sister. She needs somebody, somebody who cares. And then she says, I'm petite, but not petite. And then she says here again, why did I get bad jeans? And then she goes underneath, average is the new ugly. And listen, this is what happens to black women and black girls who become obsessed with seeking male validation through looks. I'm telling you, in order for you to date interracially or date anybody and get better outcomes, it requires a level of confidence which cannot be gotten, right, by just, you know, altering your body or altering your looks or any of that or, or any of those type of things, right? The kind of level of confidence I have is not something, the level of self-esteem, the sheer level, the level, the power of self-esteem and confidence I have in myself right, which is why I've gotten an amazing outcome, it's not something that can be bypassed with plastic surgery or with body alterations or any of those things, right, is, listen, listen, you can watch what I post, but it doesn't mean you think the way I think, and it doesn't mean you can come to conclusions that I come to, this is confidence that has been gotten from sheer force of will, right, this is the, this is confidence that comes from sheer experience, force of will, and complete acceptance of oneself as they are, this is not a process that you can bypass, and that black women can bypass with just alterating yourself, because it will never end, you, you'll alter yourself with one plastic surgery, and then you'll see something else you don't like, because you don't truly like who you are, that's the reality, this is, this is sad. This is sad. And listen, this is why I tell you black ladies, whenever you're dating interracially, you need serious confidence and self-esteem because you are removing the barrier of skin color. You are now saying, hey, I'm removing skin color. I don't care about skin color anymore. And you are now looking at the character of the person. That's the most important thing to you now, the character, how they treat you, how they take care of you. And black women, unfortunately, many of you really don't believe that you deserve the best. You really don't believe that you deserve good outcomes because of how you've been treated. Now, this is one of the reasons why I show glimpses of my relationship, because I want you guys to see, I want you ladies especially to see that black women don't always struggle. And that a lot of, some of us do actually get fantastic outcomes in relationships and dating, but it's how you carry yourself. It's how you think of yourself and you cannot escape, right? issues within yourself if you do not like how you look if you do not believe in yourself as a black woman you will not be able to withstand the negative social conditioning that will be put out against you online it's very very important right it will eat you up you will be swallowed up by body trends you will be swallowed up by looks maxing and all those other things and you will be spat out with ptsd mental illness eating disorders and whatever you know, so it's very, very, very important. Just look at, just look at this, just look at this post history. It's just complete mental illness. And this is what many black women across the world are suffering with the, with the stuff that they watch online. This is what they're suffering. And this is why I tell black women that you should not be listening to anyone who posts anti-black women content. And listen, this type of thinking, it doesn't just affect black women, it affects white women, Asian women. This girl, she thinks that white women and Asian women don't go through this kind of negative social conditioning. They do. But the only thing is they're using black women as the spokesperson, as the mouthpiece. And listen, unfortunately, black men are very complicit in the spreading of the negative image of black women, which is a shame right? Because black men come from black women. So if you're hating on black women, you're hating where you came from, which is really sad. 
But like I said previously in my in my other videos, black men have very low self-esteem. They won't admit it, but they do, right? And the sad thing is, I really want black women to understand that this is a torture device. This is a psychological torture device to make you dislike yourself. I remember what I said, you need to be able to see this so that you can move past it, recognize it for what it is, see it, move past it, right? See it, see through it, move past it. Now, ladies, as you know, on my channel, I'm in an interracial relationship, seem to be married. We're moving in together. The moving vlog is coming for you guys. It's going to be amazing. And also, we're in ex we're expecting, so there's a lot happening, a lot of big life changes. Now, Greg loves me. He adores me to bits. He literally loves me so much. It's actually mad how much he loves me, right? And Greg is Polish. I'm Nigerian. And one of the reasons I have such an amazing outcome is, is genuinely because of the standard I have for myself. I am ruthless, brutal and relentless and very unapologetic about what I want and what I don't want. And it's very important as a black woman that you develop self-esteem and identity to be able to counter stuff like this, right? And listen, when you are, when you respect yourself and you respect what you want, and you go about it in a way where you don't compromise your dignity, listen, you will, you will find yourself in better situations, better outcomes. I really, really want to urge black women to stop looking at anti-black women content because I really don't want them to end up this way. It's tragic. It's tragic to watch this mental illness in action. And the worst thing is that I really dislike seeing black women try and seek approval from racists. Now, I've posted a video on where I was posted on a racist forum by, you know, pathetic loser people. And I'm telling you that it only even made me feel myself even more. <laughs> I'm so I'm so brutal, I swear. It literally made me feel myself even more because I was like, yeah, I'm re I really am that guy. I'm going to get you so mad. I'm going to get you so for sure. Mm. <laughs> But yeah, listen, I really need black women to stop seeking validation from white supremacists as to whether you can date interracially or not. That is the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen. Stop looking to white supremacists to tell you if you are desirable or not. This is crazy. Do you not understand that white supremacists are racist? Why would you seek validation from people who hate who you? I really need, I really need black women to understand that not every person who is a non-black person is a white supremacist. Learn how to separate the wheat from the chaff, right? Learn how to identify a racist weirdo and learn how to identify a normal person that you could possibly build a relationship with or an interracial relationship with or a connection or whatever. And this goes for even black women who want to date black men as well. Learn to separate the black men who hate black women from the black men who are just going about their business because there is a difference. A large majority of black men hate themselves, unfortunately, and have low self-esteem. They'll tell you that they don't, but they do, right? But the reality is there are some black men who are, you know, you can marry and you can start a life with. It's all about understanding the difference between the two groups of those men, okay? So I really need black women to take note of that. So now let's look at more because there's, there's more. <laughs> so... Didn't I tell you ladies that this is affecting black girls all over the world? This is affecting black women. This is affecting young black girls. So here we have another post and it says here, how to not feel so undesirable as a black girl. Hmm. And then she says here, especially in a predominantly white area. I know I'm not ugly, but it's so hard to not feel so. I'm automatically seen as less attractive just because of my race. That's not necessarily true. It's what you think of yourself and it's what you've consumed. And then she says, if I was white but kept the same traits, I have people who I have, people would probably find me pretty. So that's very interesting. And, and we, we're going to take a look at some of the responses. Okay, okay. So you can see underneath the response that this person said here, I'm Olive, blah, blah. Um, yeah, I'm not really going to read into this. I'm just going to let you guys pause. I'm going to let you guys and girls pause. 
But then there's other responses I'm going to read out, which are a bit less lengthy. And then someone else said, uh, this is one of the hardest things. As a person of colour, I've struggled in my early years to feel attractive simply because I was surrounded by white people. I went to college and it was still the same. It wasn't until I entered the real world and worked, lived and dated in a diverse area that I realised I was effing hot. I wish I had worked to diversify my acquaintance earlier in life, but I just, I was just so unaware. If there's any way you can expand your horizons, this is why I tell black women to expand your oh, she'll maybe think I'm joking. Okay, she says, if there's any way you can expand your horizons, take up hobbies or seek entertainment in a more diverse area, I highly recommend it because you, the negative self-talk will literally get into your head when you're only around white people. Remind yourself you're beautiful because you are. I, and listen, listen, I keep telling black women, especially if you're trying to date interracially, you cannot be putting anybody on a pedestal, Right? You're taking away the skin colour and you're looking at the actions of the person. You should not be seeking validation from any white person, any Asian person, whoever. You have to have the most supreme confidence, right? And self-esteem, pure love for yourself and very low tolerance of rubbish. Otherwise, you're not going to get the outcomes that you're looking for when you date interracially or if you even decide to just date black men in general, right? It's very important. And listen, you can see, I was telling you ladies, This is affecting black girls everywhere. Black girls, black women, black women who are in their 40s, 30s, 50s, 60s, black girls in their teens, young black women in their early 20s, late 20s. This is affecting black women across the board, across the board. And listen, I'm telling you, right, it's not as if some of what they're saying isn't true because some black women do experience been made to feel bad about themselves especially when they're in an all white area right but I really want you to understand that once you believe in yourself and when you have the confidence and you have proper strong identity you can actually counteract all of the negative effects that happen when you're in in a in a shall I say secluded area an area that's not diverse and I also really always 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 advocate for black women to expand your options it doesn't matter the skin color of the man right if you've decided to stay single hurrah well done you've done a very good thing because most people are not enjoying their relationships (laughs) so well done enjoy your single life but if you decided to get back into dating You need to make sure that you expand your options and pick the person that treats you the best. Identify the traits that you want in a partner and pick the person that treats you the best, regardless of the skin color of the man. There's another um, post here where it says, I'm black and also grew up in a predominantly white area. I have a large butt, thicker thighs, which was a no-no in the early 2000s. Listen, I was five years old. In, in in the year 2000 I am so glad I did not grow up in the 90s <laughs> I mean I grew up but I wasn't a teenager I was literally a child <laughs> I'm so glad <laughs> I'm so glad god god thank you because that was a very that was a very tough era you know that was very tough and and, and she says here kids bullied me mercilessly mercilessly and used to chase me around calling me big butt Man, the bullying and the standards of the 2000s messed up my body image for years. My butt and my thighs were a huge insecurity. I still remember trying to cover my thighs when I sat so that they wouldn't spread out so much. That's crazy. And the unattainable thigh gap, now thick is in. People are paying for the same features they mocked and shamed us for having naturally. Absolutely. Listen, this is, I keep telling you black women. Don't listen to people who say you're undesirable because if you were undesirable, they wouldn't be trying so hard to make you believe that. Have you noticed that this rhetoric, this undesirability rhetoric for black women is really only online, on Reddit, on shitty places like Reddit and you and, and, and disturbed parts of YouTube and other dark parts of the internet where no oxygen and light prevails? Have you not noticed that this is where the narrative is coming from? Listen, if... They were so sure that you were undesirable. They would not feel the need to smash it into your head with a negative social conditioning. They're doing this on purpose to try and make you dislike yourself and hate yourself. They don't want you to dislike yourself because they see something in you, right? That is so amazing and so magnificent and so wonderful. 
and they can't stand it and they want to squash it out and you need to develop that self-esteem so that you can counteract these type of negative social conditionings right and listen what what someone else said underneath is so true she said my turkish friend said the same as you she spent her childhood being made fun of for having big thick eyebrows as she got older girls began complimenting her and trying european girls began began trying to copy her big black eyebrows listen one thing about white women is they'll copy whatever's in style right and it, 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 that goes for majority of women right majority of women don't have enough self-esteem to not follow the trends they'll follow whatever belief will get them a better outcome even if it doesn't because we've got many women following the trends and still ending up with the worst lives right and i really need you to understand that i've experienced that actually because i remember when i was in when i was a child i had like the curliest hair i had like really thick hair and i, I kept my hair natural and people would try and people would try and touch my hair i'd get like white girls and i'd literally I'd, you know, I'd give you that look where, you know, you're about to get punched. <laughs> but it was incredible how we went from, I went from, as a child, people going, oh my God, your lips were too big. To now people saying, I love your lips. You've got such full lips. I love your lips. And then, listen, I love everything about myself. I love myself to bits. But it just goes to show you that you can't worry about trends or body trends are undesirability myths because the reality is you will be fine as you are right you will be fine you are the one that has to believe that because the world will try to smash every good thing you think about yourself out of you so you are the one that has to believe this and you have to enforce this in your mind every day don't forget to smash the subscribe button smash the like button if you're just coming into the video welcome i'm so happy to have you here and i hope you've got a glass of something lovely you know if it's a glass of wine whatever drink for me because i won't be doing that for a while <laughs> so welcome i'm so happy to have you here and i really want black women to understand what's been done here on purpose it's been done on purpose I've said this in my previous videos, and listen, this is a whole bit on desirability myth series, right? I've said this in my previous videos. This is being done with an agenda. It's a social conditioning, and it's working really sadly. And listen, black women have to be very vigilant. And this is why I point stuff like this out. I want to make you aware so that you don't look, you don't start developing negative thoughts about yourself and then wonder where that came from. It comes from what you consume. It comes from what you consume, the media you consume. It comes from the people that you're around who also consume this media because, like, it's a social conditioning. So this means it's done in a social setting, right? Both offline and online. And it's very important. Listen, there are a couple of books I want you ladies to read. And I'll tell you why I want you to read them. Greg, Greg, who, you know, he's my fiancé, he loves me to bits, right? I'm actually at home during this journey. I'm not working, during this journey because he wants me to just rest he wants me to rest and relax so I've been reading a couple of books and there's a couple of books I would really love to recommend to black women one of them is called the well-read black girl you should definitely read that I'll, I'll pop the links to these books in my description there's another one called for black women only this is a very 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 good book written by Dr Ingrid um, Hicks very very good and then there's another book I've read called The Woman in the Purple Skirt, which is actually written by a Japanese author. It's fantastic. And these books are really good. They'll help you when it comes to growing how you see yourself as a black woman and just how you see yourself developing friendships and relationships in general. I'll link all of these books in the bio, in the description below. You can thank me later. You're welcome. Really, the most important thing is that black women should not be listening to men who call you undesirable because a lot of these men are very spiteful a lot of these men are struggling deeply on the dating apps listen it's not only me there's literally been studies done on this most men are struggling on the dating apps the handsome men are doing well as they always will continue to do well that is the reality right but this desperate desire to make you feel ugly to make you feel unattractive to make you dislike yourself it comes from the fact that they don't get the best experiences on 
dang ups. Many of these men are bitter, right? As we can see here in this article, it says here, the harsh reality of men, the harsh reality men face on dating apps and why men are chronically and involuntarily single. Now, a lot of men really do inflate their own attractiveness. They have very high standards for women, but the problem is they are delusional. They believe that they are more attractive than they are, many men. And this is the reality. And they have such high standards for women, but those standards get, they, those, that, that delusion gets crushed, right? When they go on dating apps and they brought back down to earth with a bang. And they realize that no matter what, they will never be in the position a woman is. And, you know, it really, really upsets them. And a lot of them are very, very bitter. And a lot of them will come and start telling black women, oh, you're undesirable. This. Listen, black women should not be listening to men on whether they are desirable or not. Because the majority of them cannot even get even the smallest attention. Right? Nobody is responding to their messages. Nobody is looking at their profiles. Listen, I have a couple of profiles from when I was dating online. Because you guys, so you ladies know I met Greg on his dating app, right? Three out of my five long-term relationships came from dating apps. And the other two came from my master's degree and through a friend. And listen, I have some crazy profiles on here to show you. You're going to laugh, okay? Some of these men, I can see exactly why they're single, on these dating apps. I can see. So just watch and laugh with me. not so lovely as to bless you with that funniness listen ladies as we say in london i don't know what the fuck is going on mate i don't know what the fuck is going on because i don't understand what those messages were (laughs) but those were just a few of the dating profiles that we have of men out there and i'm sure there are so many more so this is what men are this is what men are bringing to the dating profile, the online dating world. <laughs> so, ladies, as you know, we are moving. We are moving in together, Greg and I. Um, we are moving in together very soon. And actually, the re- evolution of our relationship has been very interesting. We met in 2022. Um, Greg knew right from the start that he was deeply in love with me. And he, I had very high standards and he rose to met those standards he rose to meet those standards every single time. And now we are moving in together. So I've got a moving in vlog coming for you. Please, please, please don't forget to turn on your channel notifications. I'm going to post a bit of some of the, um, you know, I'm going to post a bit of some of the, uh, the renovations that have been going on. I don't, I think I did that in my previous video, but I'm just going to post a little bit of what's been going on as well. And also, I really want Black women to understand that you shouldn't listen to uh, what people say. If people say that you're undesirable and nobody wants to date you, then that person is the one who is undesirable and who nobody wants to date. (laughs) Okay? If anybody comes to you to try and make you believe that, it is most likely that person does not even have a very good date in life themselves or cannot even sustain a relationship, a healthy one, for themselves right? They are struggling on the dating apps. Many of these men that will come and try and tell you that you are undesirable, do not even get one message from women online. I'm not even joking. Many of these men that will come and try and make you, so listen, stop worrying about what men think. Stop worrying about, because a a large majority of them don't even get one flick of attention. Not even just that, right? A large majority of them are jealous and wish they could be women, but they never will be. So the sooner they accept that, the better. And then let's not even get started on the fact that many women in relationships are not even being treated well. So what are you looking for validation for, darlings? What? 
you when you look for when you look for a good outcome you look to be treated well you don't look for validation from people who don't treat people well you don't even look for validation from anyone but yourself and i really want black women to understand this right so stay tuned to the channel because there's going to be lots of content being uploaded we're going to have um our moving in vlog <laughs> and then we're also going to have uh, some of my journey being uploaded as we are expecting and then what's gonna have wedding contents yes yes the wedding will be uploaded um once it's happened because i'm not i'm trying to be really like hush hush about like the dates the the venues and all that so i'm really excited i'm sure that you ladies are gonna love it and if you're a guy and you're on the channel welcome as well <laughs> I'm just doing a little video. I'm very happy. I'm very, very happy. It's all coming together. It's all coming together. Close and open. Close and open. sorry some of you might have heard um sniffing i actually do have a, a very bad cold currently yeah so <laughs> hopefully that's going to be sorted and i'm going to be i've just been at home with tissues and chamomile tea <laughs> but yeah yeah I, i'm currently going through a very bad cold like multiple boxes of tissue bad you know so my voice might be a bit nasally. That's not how I normally sound. Just letting you know. Because I'm an evolved person, I really want you ladies to understand here that I don't really care who dates who, right? And literally, I'm always happy when people find love. So I'm always happy because I found love and I'm very, I'm very fortunate and very blessed. I can live a very spoiled life. But I'm always happy when people find love. And I really want black women to understand that you are 100% desirable to other groups of men as well. It doesn't matter, you know, if they're white, if they're black, if they're Asian, if they're biracial, whatever they are. You are attractive. You will be found attractive and some people and people will like you and people will value you. You've got to believe that. Now, I want to talk. This is interesting because I want to make a talk. I want to I want to say something specifically to white women and women who date black men. I think this is very important. I want you to understand that I am very happy for you. Please go ahead and do this. But I want you to never forget that as long as you refuse to listen to black women, you might find yourself falling in perilous situations with black men. And the reason being is that we are the experts on black men. Black women are the experts. We do not own black men and black men do not own us. But we live with them, we grow with them, we birth them, we raise them, we know them inside out. And if you want to know anything about black men, you're, what you really need to do, especially if you want to date one and have good outcomes, is you really need to listen to black women. Unfortunately, a lot of women believe that black women are their enemy or they're, they've been put in competition with black women for black men who don't really treat you well. So it doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense right? If you want to get the best outcome, you need to listen to black women. You need that guidance because I see a lot of white women fall into really bad situations and just women in general, right? Fall into really bad situations that could have been avoided if you'd had the guidance. If someone had come and told you, hey, this is how this group of men are. This is what you need to watch out for with them. Be very mindful of this. But many of you are lacking this. So I want to reach out to you and also invite you. You're also welcome. Because you also need that knowledge. Now, it's up to you whether you decide to take it or not. If you take it, that's your business. If you don't take it, it's also your business. It doesn't affect me either way. <laughs> it doesn't affect me, right? It's all about your choice. It's your decision. And I really want 
ladies to understand that if you're trying to engage in any sort of dating and relationship, the whole point is to get the best outcome for yourself so that you do not end up in a bad situation. Now, as I said previously, I really want black women to not listen to what black men say about their desirability because they are not the authors of your desirability. You birth them. They do not birth you, right? The reality is if they're hating how you look, they're hating how they look because they look like you. <laughs> Literally, black men look like you, right? Black women look like each other. They look like each other. We look like each other. We have similar looks because we all come from the same place. And it's very, very important that you disregard what they say about how you look and focus on how you feel. Okay. Because you need to look at, look at all this, look at this previous Reddit post that I've just shown you complete mental illness from young black girls and black women who have been conditioned completely destroyed mentally by what they watch. And I really implore you to stop watching anti-black women content. Stop watching content that, stop watching content that pits you against other women. Stop watching content that makes you in competition for men that don't treat any of you well. (laughs) Sometimes I can be so blunt, but you know what I mean, right? The reality is I want you to think bigger, think better, get better outcomes and expand your options. And look at the person who date treats you the best. Have high standards for yourself, right? It's very important because I have very, very high standards for myself. This is something I got from my mother. It's something I got from my mother and lived experience. I had to work for this level of confidence. It didn't come free. I had to suffer and work for this level of confidence, self-esteem and belief I have in myself now. And this is why no man can try nonsense with me. You can't. It's not possible. So I really want ladies to develop their self-esteem, okay? It's very, very important. No matter what skin colour you are, but especially if you're a black woman. doesn't matter if you're a white woman, Asian woman, biracial woman, generationally mixed, whoever you are, but especially a black woman, okay? I also want to invite biracial women, actually. It's very important, seeing as uh, my child in the future will be biracial. My niece and nephew are biracial, my brother-in-law is Danish, right? And I want to invite you as well to also, you know, you're welcome to the channel as well, because I think it's very important that women remove this competition that has been put against each other by men who don't treat you well, as I've said previously. And really think about how men treat you as a whole. Really think about your experiences, your dating experiences, because unfortunately, many of you do get messed around. And if you've not If you're not currently getting messed around, you've been messed around in the past, right? So the reality is you need to learn how to move better, how to think better, how to get better outcomes. So I really welcome you to the channel as well. I want this to be a safe space for women, especially black women. But I also want other groups of women to know that there is something you can learn anything, right? It's about spitting out the meat, take eating the meat and spitting out the bones, right? So whatever applies to your situation. I also want women to understand that us black women here, we have moved on to a a different level of thinking. So what that means is if you want to continue to seek male validation, that's your business. We're not going to stop you. (laughs) We're not going to stop you. We're not even going to stress. We're just going to sit back and watch you and whatever outcome happens to you is whatever outcome happens. That's it. Okay. So listen, There is so much for us to learn here. There's so much for us to do. And I want us to get to better thinking, higher levels of thinking, better outcomes in relationships and dating. And oh my goodness, black men were obsessed with my channel. I'm, I really wish I was joking, but I'm not. You ladies know that I'm not joking. They would come on my channel time and time again and drop these really bizarre, disturbing comments I always post in the community tab for you guys, for you ladies to laugh at. But they were obsessed with me. They would not leave my channel. They would hang around like a bad smell, like a bad miracle. (laughs) Literally, and the funniest thing is I dated black men all my life, right? 
And that actually has some really good experiences with some black men. I wouldn't say that all of them are terrible. Absolutely not. I had some black men spoil me rotten. Like the Nigerian politician that spoiled me. I have a video on that. Listen, listen, I had some good experiences with them, right? But the reason I think they always came on my channel and they were so mad and so angry is because I have a very good outcome in interracial dating. And remember, they're very invested in making black women believe that they are undesirable for interracial relations and they're very invested in making black women believe that nobody else will like them but them so they hate my channel it upsets them so much (laughs) it upsets them it annoys them they literally drop all these weird comments listen i am very happy to report the next piece of news in that their presence seems to be dissipating from my channel slowly Thank goodness for that. And the reality is when they see me and women like me being spoiled, treated well, taken care of, it upsets them because there's something wrong with their their settings. They need to be factory reset, (laughs) right? There's something wrong with their wiring and they believe that black women for some bizarre reason shouldn't be treated well. And which is why black women should not be listening to them. Okay, you should not be listening to them. So onto this amazing piece of news that I'm very happy about. And listen... I've also got the Germany vlog because I'm flying to Germany in a couple of weeks and that's going to be fun. I'm flying with a friend. I've not introduced her. I've not introduced you ladies to her because we actually only just became friends like two years ago. But that's going to be fun as well. I'm going to upload that travel vlog, the moving vlog, the travel vlog and the wedding content to the channel. Okay, so that's another thing I wanted to quickly clear up. A lot of the black men that came on my channel screaming, they actually thought I hate black men. I really want you to understand, I do not hate anybody. I'm a very relaxed, chilled and neutral person. I do not hate anybody. I do not have the energy, interest or care. I'm very much self-focused. I only focus on the outcomes and the things that I want for myself and the way I want my life to be and how I want my life to go and the people around me. Now, I do not hate black men. What it is, is I'm disappointed because the reality is they have no standards for themselves. They have no expectations and they haven't been able to meet the expectations and provide expectations and standards for their counterparts. So I have a very wonderful black father who I adore, right? But the reality is a lot of black women don't have this experience. And so... I do not hate black men. I've never hated them. They are just disappointing, right? And that's the conclusion I have. That's all I'm going to say on that. And we're we're going to move forward. So I want to thank you for all of my support, of all of the support from my subscribers. I started this channel last year. I didn't really take it too seriously. And then I just saw how much it was helping black women, all the wonderful emails I would get from you and just the support as well other platforms I'm on Ko-fi as well and I'm going to be uploading some special interesting in content on Ko-fi so you can go is it Ko-fi or Ko-Ko is it Ko-fi or Ko-fi I don't know but you can go and follow me there as well I've put the link in the bio as well and I've put the link in um the comment section I've pinned it so thank you so much for all your support I really appreciate every time you come and watch my videos and you subscribe. We now have 100k views, which I never expected I would have on this channel because I honestly never expected that this channel would even get subscribers. So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I'm very, very invested in the development and the happiness of black women and women in general, but especially black women, right? Because they suffered a lot. So I'm deeply invested in the better outcomes, the happiness. And I really want black women to know that you are desirable, that you are desirable. You are wonderfully, beautifully, amazingly, immensely made. And nobody can take that away from you, right? I really want you to remember that anytime you come online and you see something crazy and you feel bad about yourself, just remember or come and watch this video or come and watch some other of my videos and just remember how amazing you are. It's very, very important. I'm very, I care deeply about black women as a whole. And I want you to really be the best, to believe that you, and to understand that you are, you deserve to be treated well. You deserve to have standards. The vast majority of my channel is now women. Oh, I'm so happy with this. Listen, I've always wanted my channel to be a woman-centric channel. I hate it. 
seeing how many guys are always trying to come to my channel. That doesn't mean I don't like it when men on, on my channel. Listen, I welcome the men here, right? But the reality is my channel was built for women. So I am so happy because there is now a 90%. There is now 90% of women. I think it's 90%. Yeah, there is now 90% of women on my channel. Oh, oh my gosh. This is a relief. <laughs> I'm so happy. I'm so happy about this. Welcome, 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 ladies. Welcome. I can truly say ladies now. Welcome, welcome. So, yeah, um, I hope that you've enjoyed the video. And I will see you in the next one. Take care. Until next time. Bye. <laughs>